Listen, no diet is perfect, <laughs> but there are some things we can do to lead healthier lives. That includes educating ourselves on processed foods. Registered dietitian, nutritionist Jamie Bakedel Shelbert joins us now to break it all down. Jamie, this is some of the, one of the things I struggle with, uh -huh. especially when you have yes. little ones that yeah. don't eat a lot, and I the understand. things that they do eat end up being the processed foods. Mm -hmm. But there, even within there, are levels of what's processed and then ultra-processed. Correct, correct. So explain the difference. Yeah, sure. So you do have levels of processing. You have processed, you have ultra-processed foods, and they differ in the degree to which the food has been modified from its original state. So an example of a processed food would be um, canned diced tomatoes. It's okay. still a tomato, but it's had some processing, mm -hmm. probably had a preservative added to it. Um, so when you it can say be processing mean like it got chopped up, it went through, chopped, chopped, it went through yes. Through. Yeah. Okay. Um, now ultra processed is just how it sounds. It's gone through a lot more processing and has had additives and preservatives. The end product is not Real food. Really, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what I was going to say for my example would be cheese curls or donuts. And I don't know about you, but I've never seen a cheese curl grow up from my garden. <laughs> right. so, <laughs> too, so far from the whole food ingredients. Yeah. Well, and I think what people get, they stumble on is like, you think, okay, I'm going to give my kid a granola bar, but right. the granola bars are processed. And I a lot know. of them are ultra processed. I know. And so I'm going to lead you through a few tips here. So okay. maybe um, consumers will know what to look for on those labels. Okay. All right. So, so let's start. Okay. So one of the first things I like to point out to people is the added sugars in processed foods. Um, manufacturers know we love mm -hmm, sweet mm -hmm. and they sneak that sugar in anywhere that they can. And it's not as cut and dry as just seeing sugar on the label. It can be in there as fruit juices, syrups like high fructose corn syrup and anything that ends in OSE like dextrose. And today I have an example of a salad dressing because you wouldn't think there would be sugar in salad dressing mm -hmm. and other condiments for that matter. And just how many grams of sugar do you think that this um, in a serving of dressing? Because you brought it, I'm going to say like 12. Oh, you're really close, actually. Okay. It's actually 13 okay. added grams of sugar, wow. which equates to one full tablespoon of sugar. That's like and, half your daily allowance almost. Right. So I was going to say, you can look at it one uh, two ways. One, if you're eating a 2,000 calorie diet, the guidelines say no more than 50 grams of sugar. If I have 13 grams already and I have a sugar sweetened beverage, like a tea or a yeah. Coke, oh, you've yeah. hit your limit for the day. Oh, and wow. also, this is two tablespoons serving. Yes. So yes, two you tablespoons. could just be like sprinkling one tablespoon of sugar on your salad and the other tablespoon is the vinaigrette ingredients. Mm. So a good swap are olive oil and vinegar. And there are so many options out there mm -hmm. now. There's so many flavor infusions. You can find one that will suit your taste. And that's just a nice, clean way to dress your salad. Okay, now bread, which, you know, I mean, yes. it's, bread is not the devil as everyone no, painted it out no, to be, but no. you do have to read the labels. Correct. So another point is, yes. So when food is processed, it gets stripped of its nutrients. It, uh, it either undergoes heat or the addition of chemicals. So with bread, especially white bread, it has been stripped of the bran mm -hmm. and the germ where all the good nutrients and fiber is. So you will want to look for something that is 100% whole grain or whole wheat and have that as the first ingredient. And not um, enriched. Yes. Exactly. Right. Because you see enriched and you think, oh, it's good. They added everything back in. But it will never mimic the nutrient profile of the whole grain that you started with. Okay, so you bought a box of cheeses because you wanted to demonstrate <laughs> yes. the number yes. of ingredients that oh actually gosh. goes into this snack. I, yeah. Yes, I don't know if you things. can get, look at this label here. I mean, you only, I, I can only read the first like three and then I, I don't know. know what the words say. I actually asked my 10 year old to count the ingredients for me so I knew what to say. And he's like, mom, I give up. Oh, After he got halfway through, I think I got up to like 80 and I gave up. But 80? 80. Yes. My kids yes. love those things. Yes. Um, I will say some of them were duplicates because you have several different Got cracker it. types, but still, it's a lot. And you have to consider that a lot of preservatives and additives are chemicals that have um, health issues attached mm -hmm. to them, like MSG or nitrates. So the longer 
the list of ingredients. You might want to just reach for something else that might be a little more healthier. And those two alternatives are good? Yes. Yeah, so this is obviously hitting that sweet, that salty yeah. note. So get some dry, some nuts, some salty nuts, and then add some dried fruit because now you're hitting that sweet and, and salty, salty. And we mm -hmm. love that combination, mm -hmm. right? You also made up a good point. Um, it is summer season. It is also farmer's market season. Yes. Great yes. time to hit that up as well. Yes, yes. I am all about supporting local. If you look in your community and see what is um, in your area, I would highly recommend supporting local. And you're getting that good in season. It's fresher. It's full of nutrients. So, yes. Fantastic. Right. Mm -hmm. Some good tips. Thank you right, so much. Jamie, thank You're you so welcome. much. Yes. All right. You can get more information at holynourish.com. Get some more tips. Find some things you should be eating some instead of things that you should thank not you be so eating. Yes. yes. Thank All right. You. Thanks, Jamie. Thank